Hey folks, welcome back here to the Vegas Don Channel. We're here off of Katy Avenue and Cambridge. Just west of Maryland Parkway. And I wanted to show you this before we start out. So the sphere, the $2.3 billion sphere is there in the distance, directly ahead of us. And in the foreground here, we have an encampment right here. Which, um, I, it steps east of Las Vegas Strip here. You can see the sphere up there. It's uh, just off the strip. And we're going to make a right here onto Cambridge. Wait our turn. We've got some cross traffic here. Brings us up here to Twain Avenue. We're gonna make a left here onto Twain. Five hundred dollars off and free rent here at this complex on the left, on the corner of Twain and Cambridge. For our friends following along at home on your preferred map app. And uh, Twain becomes Sands Boulevard up here. I'm gonna kind of hold it off to the side here because of the sun. You know, these guys running around on these little scooters like that, that's dangerous. I would not, uh-uh. That would be really, really rough. And the sun is directly in front of us here. Seven Eleven over there, it's all boarded up. There's another closed up 7-Eleven. There were 166 of them. Then we saw one over there west of the Strat. The neighborhood west of the Strat. Now this one's closed too. Huh. They're closing up 7-Elevens. That's not what I would expect. Vegas beer, Vegas Market Beer and Wine over here. One cent slots it says there. There's the sphere directly in front of us. We're gonna make a left here onto Royal Crest. Let's show you Royal Crest in here. Again, just steps east of Las Vegas Strip. You might have a lot of folks that live in here that uh, work on the Strip. Maybe they just walk over. I'm guessing, I don't know. RV over here on the right. Like an old payphone stand there on the left. Apartments for rent. See a window boarded up there. A lot of guys running around on scooters over here. Dumpsters have been tagged up back here on the back side of these apartments. I've had some uh, folks suggest that I come over here and drive around here at night. I don't think I'll be doing that, but thank you for offering the idea. I have two small boys at home to think about. Las Vegas Justice Court Community Impact Center over there across the street. Make this right here onto Hazelwood. GMC van there, Bandura. And that brings us.
is down here on Northrop Avenue. We'll make a left here. While we attempt to continue avoiding the setting sun there in the west. We'll go back up this way. Again, if you're looking for a place to live here, I do know a few realtors in town. No commitment, no cost, no nothing like that. Just let me know. Drop a comment or DM me. This is the side of Las Vegas you don't see when you're down on the Strip, that's for sure. Nobody sees this when you're down on the Strip. You see some of the effects of it in terms of some of the hustlers that you have out there. You have a lot of hustlers out there playing three-card Monty and selling fake watches and things like that. I've got to go over here and go straight. So I'm going to make a left here. Behind him. Actually over here. And uh, this is the 7-Eleven that's been boarded up. For whatever reason. Usually it's because of crime. That's what 7-Eleven uh, man discovered, one of the pillars of our community, he discovered uh, researching online was that the one there behind the, um, one of the two actually, 7-Elevens behind the, the uh, Strat had been closed, finally closed because of the crime that they were encountering there. And then over here off to your left, you've got Vegas Market, beer and wine, one cent slots. Finally got the green light here at Twain, we'll continue. But uh, wait for the pedestrians. And there we go. Palm Pizza over here on our right. Lefties, Left Jays. Left Jays, island favorites it says there. So we continue northbound here on Cambridge. Steps, mere steps away from the Las Vegas Strip over here to our left. Brings us up here to Sierra Vista. I'm sorry, we're not on Cambridge, we're on University Center Drive. My apologies, I was way off. Yeah, the police, Metro Police. Convention Center Command here. They're waving me through even though the lights are flashing. They have a whole bunch of food trucks over here in front of the Convention Center, I can't show you, but 389 a gallon here for uh, regular unleaded at the 7-Eleven here. This is Desert Inn, a major north-south, I'm sorry, major east-west artery here in town. Las Vegas Country Club is up here off to our right. It's weird, you know, how you have just this juxtaposition of all these different elements of uh, living and housing all just kind of jumbled together. Up here you have the Westgate Resort, formerly the uh, Hilton International, way back when. Now it's called the Westgate. It's where the uh, Star Trek The Experience was housed for 10 years before it closed in 2008. Right there on the right. Ooh, 
was a cool experience. I went in there in 06. And uh, if you're into Star Trek, they had like a Borg type of uh, themed ride kind of thing. And a uh, Klingon themed ride. There's the Westgate, formerly the Hilton. And um, they also had um, Forks Bar in there. It was really, really cool. They had all the uh, different themed drinks. They had like a Warp Core Breach and stuff in there. It was really, really cool. I paid a hundred bucks to, for the... Uh, to get in, for the admission to get in. And then, um, it was really fun. Spent almost a whole day there. They had a, a huge, um, um, Enterprise D and Voyager hanging from the ceiling in there. It was really cool. This is Liberace Avenue here on our right. And... Karen Avenue here on our left. Turnberry Towers there in front of us. HOA in there is um, pretty pricey. Go ahead and make this left onto Karen. And we'll go over one block to Paradise. Road. And then there's the Sahara directly in front of us. I'm going to go ahead and make a left here on the Sahara. see the strat there in front of us. We have a lot of time in our uh, travels there behind the strat. Feel free to check that out in our library. Driving all over the uh, neighborhood back there known as Naked City. It was named that because the uh, showgirls used to live in there and when they did they um, would lay out naked during the uh, day. Pilots would be flying overhead and they dubbed it Naked City. They saw the showgirls out there nude neighborhood uh, has changed a lot since then, I'll say. Siegel Suites being advertised over there on the right. And the strap there directly in front of us, you can see how high that thing reaches. It was at one point the tallest building north, I'm sorry, not north, uh, west of the Mississippi from what I, what I understand. for that. My magnet fell off there on the back of the phone. So we wait our turn. I've had a lot of viewers complain about the uh, bracket there being pictured in the upper right of the frame trying to find something that can uh, that won't be pictured in the frame, but uh, haven't been successful in that regard yet. Maybe one day I'll find something. Oh, goodness, that card just came out of nowhere. And then you immediately come run into uh, Las Vegas Boulevard right here, the strip right in front of us. The world's largest gift shop being advertised over there on the other side. Bonanza Gift and Souvenir Shops as we cross the world famous Las Vegas Strip. And continue westbound here on Sahara Avenue, major east west artery here in town. Golden Steer Steakhouse used to be a former mob ha uh, hangout there. I've heard very good things about it. I've never been. Reservation is almost essential there from what I understand. Linda Machokin, now open at Palace Station. Wow. That's a uh, 
chain, Mexican restaurant chain here in town. They've got some awesome Mexican food. I uh, really prefer the location down off of uh, Horizon Ridge and Carnegie. So if you haven't been down there, definitely check that out. To any of the uh, locations, actually. I want to take a moment and say thank you all so very, very much for joining us. We really appreciate each and every single one of you. Again, we would not be here without you, and that's a fact. If you haven't already from YouTube and TikTok, it helps recommend us to other viewers on YouTube and TikTok. It also helps the algorithm. The algorithm really carries the weight of your voice when you like, follow, share, and subscribe. So please do uh, like, follow, share, and subscribe. And also check out our merch, our uh, shop section on our YouTube channel. We have some awesome merch available for you with the uh, upcoming holiday season coming and uh, maybe some for yourself or significant other. And uh, as always, remember here on the Vegas Don channel, it's the journey. Thanks for being here, folks, and cruising with us. We appreciate each and every single one of you. We'll see you next time.